Hi, it's Rick. I'm going to show you how to make up a portable battery pack, 12 volt, around 9 amps in this case, for any of your power equipment like your portable fish finders that you make up. Canadian Tire, any automotive outlet, they sell stuff like this all the time. You should have sales uh, once or twice a year, and uh, these are about $8 a piece, $7.99. It's got a 6 volt, 4.5 amp battery. There's two of them. Join them together in series, which is the, there's your negative, there's your positive. Your positive is joined with this wire to your negative, to your positive again inside the battery, and then there's your output. Light itself looks like this. They're all they're all similar. And you take it apart, and you will find inside the guts. When you do take it apart, there's a recharging system. Keep it any wires that go to the actual hit the light. You just tape them off. There'll be a black and a red wire going to the battery. Those are the ones that you want. This is just a switch from the uh, from the trigger for turning it off and on. And there's your unit for charging. You basically, uh, after you hook them up, I use automotive fuses on the wires just to prevent any short circuits, red to red. In this case, I'm leaving the wiring on. I'll switch it over uh, again later for the other battery. Black to black. You get a transformer that comes with it in the box. You plug it in. You leave it for a while. This red light here, as soon as the thing that die decides it's going to get up to the charge, which is... Uh, four and a half amps at six volts, this will turn green, you go and you charge the other one by switching the wires over. When you're done, you undo it, put it away for the next time, because if you ice fish as much as I like to do once the ice fishing is around, you'll be doing this quite a bit. You hook up the, once again, you hook up the wiring harness you made up for it, and now you have two six volts to make twelve, double four and a half to make nine. It'll change and vary depending on what you get. Uh, you should only be doing this if you're, uh, you know, got the uh, uh, tools, uh, the equipment, and the knowledge to do stuff like 12 volt wiring automotive and uh, for like boats, stuff like that. Uh, just be careful with polarities and always make sure that you wear um, uh, at least eye protection. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this and um, this should give you pleasure in getting portable batteries to run most of your uh, 12 volt appliances whether it be fish finders, trail cameras or, or whatever and saves you quite a bit of money. Uh, Canadian Tire sells a 7.5 to 10 amp 12 volt battery for trail cameras and that uh, they run $39.95 to $49.95 and depending on the store they can change them quite a bit in price. This cost about uh, 15 under $20 for the two batteries. So anyways, take advantage of sales when you find them, and leave any comments you have at the end of this video, and we look forward to making more videos for you. Thank you. I'll show you momentarily. The batteries that I have are wired up in series. That means that you've got the two batteries. As you can see here, you've got your negative wire coming in off the one, your plus wired to the negative on the other one, and a plus coming off. Don't let these two touch, that's why you notice all my connectors are covered. Uh, and I'm using a cigarette or cigar lighter, female, which only acts as a conductor once it's been plugged into by the male. That's not a dirty joke, by the way. Uh, that completes the circuit, so that keeps these two from uh, uh, meeting. And that's for a 12 volt, nine, uh, amp hour battery okay okay so basically by the diagram of the battery which is right there you'll be able to see that this is basically the same here's your uh, I'd have to reverse it excuse me I can reverse it this way if you want so that it shows and there's your negative and your positive so there's your positive right there running out there's your joiner wire right there, and then there's your negative coming off. All these connectors are covered to protect them from each other, and you tape down all your wiring. And then take, tape your batteries together if you're going to use them in that configuration. There's the plug-in that I'm going to use for my uh, portable fish finder. It could be used for any, any piece of equipment you want for a 12-volt power pack. Anything you can think of that needs 12 volts. All these connectors here, the red ones obviously, that's a hot side. 
only fit the same wire. So this one here is a male to a female. This one here is a female to a male. There's no way you're going to get them mixed. Try and follow that code if you can. The white tracer on the wire, because this is the wire that came with this, is for the plus side. I have another one here wired up exactly the same. And these two little wires coming off here are for the battery charger setup. And I'll show you how that works. When you buy uh, a new, and we're only dealing with new here, not used. We don't want to be, I'm not dealing with that at all. When you buy new, you get new pieces of equipment. This is the charger for it. It's a uh, 12 volt, 400 milliamp charger. We've got the guts from inside the, uh, guts from inside the uh, light. There's the uh, switch to turn the light on and off. There's the two leads that went to the battery. I've got them um, modified. What I did was I put a fuse in each side and then taped up the side the fuse went in. That's what I'm going to connect up to the uh, wiring with.